Hello guys, today I will show you how to show the logged in user information inside the form. For example, so currently I have logged into the system. So this is the app it is running. So if I want to show the logged in user name, what are the mm -hmm. roles he has and what is the GUID of. So to show that one, I have created one table, application user info, in that I have added a one form, so name, user information and these are the three columns I have, name, roles and logged in user GUID. Name is a text type, role is a description or text area type and login user type user GUID is text type to show the user information we need to add the javascript web resource into the solution let's add the javascript web resource into the solution and then add here so i am opening the solution so in the demo solution i am creating the new Clicking on the new and adding the new web resource into this one. So clicking on it and providing the display name of web resource. So on load user info. So type is JavaScript. Let's import the JavaScript file into this one. I am choosing the JavaScript file now. So I have in the my local folder. So this is the JavaScript file I have. I am uploading it. So click on save. So this will upload the web resource file into our solution now. So web resource is added. So web resource contains, we can see it in our JavaScript file, just we uploaded it. Okay. This is the code we have in the web resource. So this will set the value. So whenever we open any form, so any form means the form which we uh, related to the table application user info so uh, so we added this javascript file into this uh, solution we need to bind this function in onload of the form which we added this is the function we have This is the JavaScript function we uploaded in in our solution. So if you see, this is the variable I'm declaring. This is the function name. So I'm setting some time to until wait for UI uh, UI need to display. So uh, after waiting some 10 seconds, uh, 10 milliseconds, um, after I'm proceeding with the these things so if you see this one so this is uh, getting the user settings and this is getting the roles and uh, i am initializing some variables uh, so that i can uh, store these values into this one so here i am getting the values and storing in this variable and after that i am uh, assigning the value to the empty fields are the fields available on the form okay this is the uh, this is the logical name of the three fields we have so let's open the form and add the onload event into this form so to add the onload event 
we need to add the we need to add the javascript into this one so in the left side we have a J add library option i am clicking on it so it will ask for choose the file so the file name we gave on load user info so i am selecting it and adding it so it is listed here now so in the right side we have a option properties and events in the event tab we need to expand the onload section so click on event handler to add so need to give the function name so function name is inside the javascript file if you open this one so this is the function name we need to give so i am copying it so i am pasting here and this is the execution context we need to pass to this function so i am checking this one i am clicking on done so event get added i am saving it i am publishing it now it got published now the we will open the app and refresh so i am clicking the new button here so once i click the new button the form will open and it will get the logged in user information and bind to the columns we added so if you see here these are the values it's got automatically bind using the onload event so name it is taking and showing and the, the roles we have assigned to this user and the user guid so this guid you can find it in the url once you open the any user information hope this help you thank you